three, welcome back to our phonics class. How are you all today? Are you excited to learn? All right, because for today, we will be reading new sentences in our phonics. So are you all ready? So let's go. Before we read our sentences for today, let's have a short review of all the sight words that we have learned from last time. We have here the words a, a, is, is, the, the, in, in, on, on. So now we will be learning new sight words. Are you ready? So first we have here the word this, this, the, e, s, this, this. Next we have he, he, huh, e, he, he. Next one we have the word she, she, sh, e, she, she. We also have the word are, are. A, R, R, R. Next, at, at, a, t, at, at. And the last one we have the word, and, and, a, n, d, and. And now let's review all the sight words together. We have this, he, she, are, at, and. So kids, let's have a short game about our sight words. So we have here all the sight words that we've learned for today. So what am I gonna do is to tell you the word and you're gonna tell me the number of the correct answer. So here we have number one for this. Two, he, three, she, four, are, Five at six and so are you ready? So for the first word, what number is the word he? He who can tell me what number in five, four, three, two, and one? Time's up. What's your answer? Yes, correct. He, he is number two. So one more time, can you read with me? He, he, good job. Now let's move to our next word. What number is the word this? This. Go, go, go. Who can tell me what number is it? In five, four, three, two, and one. Time's up. What's your answer? Oh, you're correct. Over here is the word this. Uh, number one. Now let's read it again together. 
this, this. Good job. Next, who can tell me which number is the word end? End. Ready? In five, four, three, two, and one. Time's up. What's your answer? Number six. Correct. And very good. Now read it again. And and very good. Next, which number has the word R? R. Ready? In five, four, three, two, and one. Time's up. What number is your answer? Yes, number four is the word R. Now let's read it again. R. R. Good job. Next, who can tell me what number is the word she? She. Ready? Which one is the correct answer? In five, four, three, two, and one. Time's up. What's your answer? Correct! Over here in number three, we have the word she. Can you say it again? She. Very good. And who can read for me the word in number five? Mm, can you read it for me? A. At. Very good. Now let's read it again together. At. At. Wow, good job, K3. So now, let's read the short sentences in our phonics story. So let's start from this. Ooh, what can you see? Yes, you can see a girl and she is wearing a red cape, a red bag, and a red cap. So let's start reading the story. This is red. She is Cute. She has a red cap and a red cape. One more time. This is red. She is cute. She has a red cap and a red cape. Oh, next. What can you see over here? I can see a cake and a red bag. Now let's read the story. She has a big bag. She has five buns and a cake in the bag. One more time. She has a big bag. She has five buns and a cake in the bag. Oh, over here, I can see a bike and the girl with the red bag at the back. Now let's read it. She is on her bike. She is going to Grand 
mother's house. One more time. She is on her bike. She is going to grandmother's house. Next. Oh no! Who is this? Yes, this is Mr. Fox. And let's read it. This is Mr. Fox. He is hungry. He wants to eat red. Oh no! Oh kids, it's becoming very scary. Look at Red and Mr. Fox. Now let's read it. Mr. Fox says, Red, come here. And Red says, No, you are a bad fox. Oh no. And over here, look at Mr. Fox. He went to grandmother's house. Now let's read it. Mr. Fox is mad. He is at grandmother's house. Oh no, what can you see? What did Mr. Fox did to grandmother? Let's read. Mr. Fox bites grandmother's leg. Ouch! Grandmother is mad. She hits Mr. Fox and he runs away. And so, what can you see in the picture? Over here we have grandmother and Red. And they are sitting in a mat eating buns and cake. So let's read it. Red is at grandmother's house. They have buns and cake for lunch. They are happy. So now let's have a short game about every story for today. I am gonna read the sentences and you need to help me find the correct picture. Let's start over here. Listen carefully. This is red. She is cute. She has a red cap and a red cape. Are you ready? Which one is the correct picture? Ready, you can tell me. Oh, you're correct. Over here is the correct answer. Good job. Next, we have She has a big bag. She has five buns and a cake in the bag. Oh no, who can tell me what is the correct answer? Ding da da ding and correct. Over here is the correct answer. Yes. So let's move to the next sentence. She is on her bike. She is going to grandmother's house. Who can tell me where is the correct picture? Ding da 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 and yes, you're correct. Over here. All right, let's move to the next sentence. This is Mr. Fox. 
He is hungry. He wants to eat red. Oh no, where is the correct picture? Who can tell me? And dang da da da. Over here is the correct picture. Good job. Next sentence over here. Mr. Fox says, Red, come here. Red says, No, you are a bad fox. Where is the correct picture? Ding da da da. And the answer is here. Good job. All right. Next sentence. Mr. Fox is mad. He is at grandmother's house. Where is the correct picture? Ding da da da. Oops. And over here, you're correct. Good job. Let's move to the next one. Mr. Fox bites grandmother's leg. Grandmother is mad. She hits Mr. Fox and he runs away. Where is the correct picture? Ding da da da. And yes! Over here. And the last sentence is Red is at grandmother's house. They have buns and cake for lunch. They are happy. And the picture is, of course, over here. Wow, good job, K3. So this is our story for today's lesson. And so kids, for your activity this morning, I want you to practice reading the story in your house. Just open your phonics book on page number 44 and 45. So kids, did you enjoy the short story for today? You can practice more in your house, okay? So that is all for today. I want to say goodbye K3 and see you again tomorrow.